Janet Kuiper as Queen of the Wild Frontier. So I should try Tom's hat. Every time I've just got to wear a different hat. Excellent. Why not, right? Exactly. But I won't have the tag sitting out because you never took the tag off your hat. I've got a good shot of my tongue It's a dorky. I have no idea what I look like. I look something. I thought I would share one poem from the Poetry for Performance Art book, Chapter 48, V1. It is from a show, from a reading, uh, Lake County Poetry Bomb, which actually here in Austin, Tom joined me for a Poetry Bomb at the Street Art Book Gallery. With all of the, you were, and you just ripped down everybody's spray paint, and it was great. It was just great. I loved it. <laughs> and I'm like, hmm, there's some paint left over. I'm spraying something. What? What are you doing? <laughs> Anywho, this is a short piece called The Bridge to New Orleans. You have to pass the desolation before you get there. Long, long bridges overlooking swamps, decaying trees, occasionally a home, foundations crumbling, wet wood peeling away. What do these people see, these people in these homes, crocodiles, snakes, bugs along the water, a ripple of the murky water under the full moon, the vultures perched along the treetops, they have the isolation, the beauty of the solitude, but it's a different kind of decay they see, a different kind of decay, a different kind. I just don't want to step on hats, because that would just be sacrilege. Um, I had written things for different days of the year. Uh, nobody here has heard this one. You can guess by the title. This piece is called March 4th. When things seem to be at their worst, march forth and try to make a difference. After you counseled rape victims, fought for women's rights, come together in a take back the night rally, march forth to support women's rights to feel safe when walking home alone outside at night without the support of a man. Sorry. That's why I don't read from computers. <laughs> Sorry. Without, without, a, you know, without those help, with a man by their side. March 4th, when you see a political injustice in how a government treats its citizens, even if it means you have to stand in a square and confront an armed tank by yourself. March 4th for your rights to give you strength and hope the government notices. Uh, collect money from supporters and march forth to help your loved ones who suffer with breast cancer, diabetes, ALS, AIDS. They feel even free to march forth confidently into your boss's office as a woman when you know that you deserve more pay for better than equal work amongst your male co-workers. March forth to get answers when your family hides truths from you that you are positive you have the right to know. It may torture you to learn things that you don't want to believe, but knowing the truth is worth a thousand marches because this is the most dignified, the most stable, even the most healthy way to start to make change. Yeah. I think we're going to have one here. And this I can do for you guys is called Quickly Judged. Word. <laughs> you say you see the writing on the wall. But read between the lines, because when I make my mark, I give meaning to the spaces themselves. And sometimes, sometimes I scribble more in those tiny spaces that you cannot even see from afar. Even when you take my page, you read and you think you've got me figured out. But how wrong you are when you just glance at the lines of text on ruled paper. 
You should know that I write between the lines. I even scribble on the margins. You thought I was that simple, that basic, that I could be so quickly judged. But you only glance at the writing of my life, and as I said, you never read between the lines to see the true me, while the things I write can even jump off the page. You say you see the writing on the wall, but you only glance, like life is all about only cliff notes. A private investigator might not even be able to research me enough to get the true meaning. So next time you read that writing, go ahead, look closer.